Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to install the Samsung Smart TV SDK on a Windows machine. So in order to run this environment, there are basically three softwares that you are going to need. The first thing and the most important thing is the Samsung Smart TV IDE. The second one, the virtual box. And the third one, the emulator machine image, which is a virtual box machine image format. So let's go ahead and start downloading these three software so that our environment is set up. So go to the Samsung Smart TV SDK downloads page where in the downloads page you will be having some tools for example the SDK emulator for VirtualBox, the IDE for Windows machines, the automatic testing tools, the mashup server. So for the basic setup I am going to need only the IDE and the emulator combined with VirtualBox. So first I will download the IDE corresponding to my operating system. Here mine is a Windows 64-bit machine. And the second one that I am going to download is the SDK emulator for VirtualBox. So I will download these two softwares and after downloading I will go on for downloading the VirtualBox. VirtualBox is a virtualization environment and it is available for all major operating systems like Windows, Mac OS X, Linux, Solaris, etc. So, uh, here I am going to download the virtual box for my Windows machine. So, after the download is over, we can start with the installation process. Okay, now the download process is over and we will start with the ins installation. Before starting with the installation, please make sure that you don't have any previous versions of the Samsung Smart TV SDK installed in your machine. If that is the case, please remove those versions before continuing with this installation. So after removing those versions, let us first extract the contents of the IDE. So here I have extracted the contents of the IDE to my C drive. So this is the folder inside which I have the extracted contents and these are the contents. This is the executable file eclipse.exe. When you run it, you can see that the IDE loads as such. No installation procedure is needed. This is different from the previous versions where the IDE comes packaged with an installer file where you have to install the IDE and the emulator separately. But in here it is a ready to run environment so that your IDE is ready. Okay now my IDE process is over. I'll close this thing. The next thing that I have to do is install the emulator image. So for that I'll ins first go to the VirtualBox installer, double click it and it will do the rest. There is no hard level stuff that we should do so that to set up VirtualBox. VirtualBox owns double click the VirtualBox installer file and it will take care of everything. After installing VirtualBox the third thing and the final thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to import my emulator machine image into the VirtualBox environment. So for that open up VirtualBox. Here uh, for importing my emulator machine image go to file import appliance and click open up lens and go to the folder where you have extracted the emulator machine image so um, I will be going to my software here I oh, found it this is the file um, this file ends with an extension called OVF which stands for open virtualization format so now click open and click next here in this window it will be giving some basic details regarding the emulator machine image so here the type of operating system that the emulator has been developed on the version the name the manufacturer the number of cpu ram etc etc and one thing to note here is that the cpu in the cpu this number represents the number of cores of cpu that you are alerting to this 
uh, virtual machine so uh, uh, make sure that you give a number which is less than or equal to the number of actual physical cpu present in your system here i am going to give a number as one and the next thing i will do is i'll import this um, uh, it will take some time the main uh, advantage of using this open virtualization format is that this format is supported in various virtualization environments like kvm qemu uh, in virtualbox etc the same format can be imported to various virtualization environments and can be run successfully so that is the main advantage of this open virtualization format this virtualization this virtual image is a software simulated hardware so um, the import process is going on and the last thing that i have to do is that i have to create a shared folder so that my ide can communicate with this emulator machine image so let's go ahead and create the shared folder so here i'm going to my D drive and I'll create a folder called share it's already created uh, share inside that I'm going to create a folder called apps uh, okay now my folder has been created so now I have to set this folder in my emulator machine image so that can communicate with the folder so let's go ahead and after importing here you can see the list of imported operating systems so here is my Samsung Smart TV emulator image and right click go to settings uh, in the settings you will be seeing a, a side panel in that the last option is given a shared folder click shared folders and come to the right you will see an app with a green color plus icon so click the app click it and uh, in the folder path select the path where you are planning to give the shared folder i'll go to d drive i'll click share and i'll select the apps and after selecting please make sure that this auto mount option is selected so i have already created this folder here uh, so once you have done these steps you can click ok so that this folder will be added in the shared folders list okay now the thing is set up now we can check that whether the smart tv emulator image is working properly so right click and click start so it's loading and you can see that the emulator machine image is implemented in an ubuntu kernel so uh, you can see uh, Ubuntu operating system loading uh, this 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 virtual machine image format is one of the differences in the small Samsung smart TV 4.5 SDK version uh, okay I have got this emulator this is the same type of emulator that you have been getting in the previous versions but as uh, the, in those emulators are bundled with the id in an installer file but here in this case you are getting the emulator in a virtual environment inside virtual box here okay now if i see this screen i can make sure that my installation of this virtual box machine image is successful so i can go on and close this thing okay i'll power off this machine and i'll close this environment so let's go ahead and create a simple project to test whether the output is visible so i'll go to my programs and i will launch the samsung smart tv sdk Uh, it's, okay it's launched and please make sure that the Samsung Smart TV SDK 
perspective is selected now let's go ahead and create a simple project so i'm going to file new project in the project list scroll down and select samsung smart tv web apps expand that and here i'm going to create a samsung smart tv javascript project so i'll create a javascript project i'll click next and i'll give the project name as sample javascript project so i'm going to leave the resolution as the default value and i'll click finish so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'll open the main page which is the index.html file it's visible uh, so this is the basic structure of a basic samsung smart tv javascript app here here in this video i'm not going to explain the technical stuff here i'll just make a simple heading so that welcome to samsung smart tv ide here um, uh, in the style sheet the main.css file the style sheets i'm going to apply a style for this so I'm going for this h1 tag i'll be applying a white color okay now my setup is ready so uh, for running this project go to the project explorer select your corresponding project right click uh, samsung smart tv sdk run project in samsung smart tv emulator so once you uh, it takes some time okay it started uh, uh, you know uh, make sure that while adding the machine image you select the auto mount option so that the machine loads automatically once you run the project if you do not select auto mount you will be having problems in starting the virtual box machine image automatically so now i can see that my project is being loaded and yeah this is my out i have got my output so uh, uh, this video tutorial explain how to set up and run the latest samsung smart tv sdk 4.5 on a windows machine the procedure is same for other operating systems you just have to download the corresponding files for those particular operating systems so thank you for watching